tonight on Acapulco Beach. It's a shovel in the trunk. Get out. Get out! Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, what happened? Somebody hit Manny Soto and another guy. Manny Soto? The cook dealer? Yeah. And you saw it? Yeah, right from over there. Last I heard Manny was doing 20 years in jail. Not anymore. Now he's doing life. I know who Manuel Soto is. That's who was executed. Are you certain? Unless he has an identical brother. You saw the body. We got a large exit wound. Much of his face is missing. We won't be sure until we match his prints. Now, do you need me for anything else, Chief? No, Lieutenant. You're dismissed. All right. Thanks for the ride. Pleasure. 
What's his problem? He has a lot of problems. He's a police officer. No doubt, but I'm not one of them. Tell us about the vehicle you saw. It was gray, four-door, tinted windows. And you didn't see a registration number? No. Why not? I wasn't looking for one. I didn't have any reason to. Not at first. Until after the shooting? That's right. It was just another car by the beach. And after the shooting? I was pretty much keeping my head down. But you can identify the men who are responsible. Maybe not the grave digger, but the shooter I can. He was short, had dark hair, beard. He was about 40 years old. Did he see you? If he did, I'd be dead. Yes, I suppose you would. What about the other guy? Was he one of Soto's men? We don't know yet. You keep me informed. What's going on, Chief? How did Soto get out of jail? He was released. Well, obviously, but how? I thought you had a witness that was willing to testify against him. We did. He disappeared. Who was he? I can't tell you that. Why not? What difference does it make? This is not a question for you. This is a police matter, and you're not a police officer, nor are your friends. Fair enough. But you are, and so is Valdez. And what is that supposed to mean? I've been here for the better part of an hour, looking at pictures of pimps and pickpockets. And no one has asked me what the shooter looks like. How come? The chief prosecutor, Senor Astor, he asked you that question. No, he didn't. I volunteered it. Yes? One moment. I can't find my way out. Did you get a name? I got more than names. I got all the dirt a gossip columnist can give you. This guy, Jamie Garza, was going to testify against Soto. Soto had him killed and dumped his body in the ocean. Mm. Were there any other witnesses? Uh, Lupe Portillo, better known as La Concha. Her name ring a bell? Oh, wasn't she uh, an exotic dancer? She used to be. Well, if you call lap dancing exotic. La Concha was her stage name. She's retired now. So what's her connection to Soto? She used to dance on his lap. Oh, Garza's lap. She married him. Now she's the widow Garza. If you want to talk to her, she's at a club on the beach called El Caballo. Well, she's an actress now. She's shooting a commercial. <laughs> Now you can have the body you want with pro skinny. Just 20 minutes a day, three times a week, and in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> Sounded like heaven to you? Oh. <laughs> Tell them no surprises this time. And no more script changes. And no close-ups. I'm growing too much face. I was very beautiful once. You still are. My husband liked to think I gave up my career as a dancer for him. But it's not true. It's gravity, you know. Have you heard from your husband lately? Of course not. How could I? Soto fed him to the sharks, and now Soto is dead. Yes, I know. My friend, Senor Maldonado, called me. He was a fan of mine. I used to dance for him before I met my husband. <laughs> Pity about Soto. Would you like something to drink? Oh, no thank you. Uh, I don't get it. Soto killed your husband, but you're sorry he's dead? Because now I cannot testify against him. 
I love my husband very much, and I wanted so to, to suffer a life in jail. He was an evil man. Hmm. That's funny. The way we heard it, when her husband disappeared, you changed your mind and decided not to testify. Who said that? It's a lie. He changed his mind. Who did? Senor Asto, the prosecutor. He said, because I had made my living as a dancer and that I had a past, no one would believe me. When you talked to Maldonado, did he ask you what you knew about the killing? Why would he do that? <laughs> now, if you will excuse me, I have things to do. Excuse me. I'm ready for you, Henri. Well, <laughs> isn't she something? She sure is. Do you believe her? About which part? That Maldonado is a big tipper or that she wanted to testify? Well, no, that Maldonado never asked her who killed Soto. What are you thinking? That Maldonado knows who killed Soto. Maybe it was an Astor who changed his mind about her testifying. Maybe it was Maldonado. Yeah, but why? Because he was doing business with Soto? Maybe she could tell everyone she danced for him and he was a big tipper. Maldonado is a married man. knows I'm a witness. They had to be connected to the cops. But why? Because I can identify who killed Soto. Which means what? Whoever killed Soto has got a friend who's a cop. Or he's a cop himself. Can you access Maldonado's personal files? I can if they're online. Cat, maybe you're right. Maybe he knows who the shooter is. How about the car? Was it the same one? I don't know. I couldn't get a good enough look at it. I'm in. What am I looking for? ID photos. Hmm. Want to pull up a chair? This could take a while. How long? Depends on which end of the alphabet we start at. Well, how many names are we talking about? 267. Is it him? No. It's the other guy. Martinez was the one who was killed with Soto. Scroll down a little bit. He was a cop. He was assigned with Valdez, his partner. Print up both files. Martinez and Valdez. Can do. Martinez was a hell of a cop, man. Look at their records. They match for the last two years, except for this last case with a code name. Matador. They've done more than a dozen drug cases together. So why wouldn't Martinez be a part of Matador? Well, maybe it wasn't about drugs, or one of them got reassigned or something. Maybe. Hector Zacala. He's the last one. You want to run through them again? Hell no. Let's try a composite. Can we do that? Sure. Do you want to start with the eyes or the nose? This could be a great many people. And this man? 
Where did you get this? You got a leak, Chief. And you have a dead partner. Listen, we know our problems. We don't need you adding to them. There was a shooting in the Malacan. Someone tried to kill Kat. We had a report there were two women. You were with her. Where is she? Look, you find him and she'll be around. I could have you both arrested. You know that. For what? For interfering in an investigation of the death of a police officer, among other things. Was Martinez working for Soto? Is that what Matador is all about? Martinez was a good policeman. And since you obviously have his file and the file of Lieutenant Valdez, you should know this already. And you should also know that if you continue to interfere in my investigation, I will have you arrested. Do you think you recognize the man in the composite? Took the photo with him. So playful. I just love them. <laughs> Did you bring your things or do you like to sing naked? Oh, uh, maybe some other time. Champagne then? Jesus! Do I know you from somewhere else? I don't think so. Were you ever a dancer? <laughs> not me. I'm not much of a dancer. Oh. <laughs> in maybe in some other life then. I wouldn't forget they look like yours. <laughs> May we live as long as we want to, and want as long as we live. <laughs> Good idea. Oh. You said you had someone you wanted to show me. I think so. Is this the man you mean? This is him. Do you know his name? Grossman, I think. I'm not too sure. Um, it starts with a G, Gasman. Uh, I don't know. Is he a cop? I think he used to be. I think now works for Senor Asto, the prosecutor. Why don't you ask him? Or ask my friend Maldonado. You know Chief Maldonado. I do, and I will. We have a problem. It's a good likeness of Guzman. It's an excellent likeness. Where did you get it? That French woman that runs the Acapulco heat shop. Oh. It's a new from Cuba. They're excellent. Where is Guzman? Out, working. Where's the girl? Hiding, probably. Someone tried to kill her yesterday. Really? Does she say it was Guzman? I haven't talked with her since she left my office. We're looking for her. We need to bring her in. Who else is seeing this? You, me, Valdez. It's others by now. This is not good, my friend. Cat! What? The cops are looking for you. Two of them came by the shop. I told them I didn't know where you were. Well, you do now. Still no word from Nicole or Tommy? Not yet. Well, where the hell are they? I don't know. <laughs> I hate this.
You, where you been? Are you okay? I am not okay. I am not even a little bit okay. Where's Kath? I don't know. We split up. We had to ditch the car. They were shooting at us. We had to run. Oh, slow down. Huh? Run up by me again. What? A guy named Grossman or Gasman. He's the hitman Kat saw. He works for Chief Prosecutor Astor. They were shooting at you? Where's Kat hurt? I don't think so. Where'd you leave her? I'm right here. We know who he is. This is him. Lupe was close. Gasman, Guzman. There were three of them. Guzman, his driver, and one other. Did Guzman see you? He must have. I saw him. Come on. Talk to me. What are you looking for? Department archives, but I can't get in. About Matador? Oh, they're not online. Sorry. It's okay. We got enough. Sure as hell do. Where are you going? Thought I'd do a little shopping. You want to come with? Oh, you're not. You're not going anywhere. No. Who's gonna stop me? You? Only if I have to. Oh, get real. He is, and so am I. Come on, Cat. Use your head. I mean, you can't go out there. You or Joanna. Not till we know what we're up against. You know who we're up against. I just told you who we're up against. You trust Maldonado? Hell no. So who can we trust? Well, I don't know. Well, then let us find out first. Where are your friends? Resting. They must be very tired. Why do you say that? Because I'm tired, too. They can't hide forever. We'll find them, you know. Well, they shouldn't have to. I mean, they haven't done anything wrong. <sighs> Running from us? Shooting at us? Please. Yesterday, we showed you a drawing of this man. Do you recognize him now? He killed Martinez. Now, you might not care about Soto, but uh, sure as hell ought to care about your partner. He killed your partner, and now he's trying to kill ours. Now, we need your help. What is Matador? Did you talk to Chief Maldonado about this? Matador is a death squad. 
How many of your people are involved? Not many. Not more than five or maybe six. But you don't know for sure? What about Maldonado? I don't know. And Esther? It's possible. How long has it been going on? There's a proverb. When flies sing, rats listen. It's been going on a long time. As long as there's holes in the law and men with money to fill them. You're talking about Matted. Yeah, I know. So am I. You know the kind of man Soto was. What kind of man is Guzman? Now or then. Look, Guzman was a good policeman for many years. If you knew his record, then you'd know. He was a man of experience. Well, that was then. What happened to him? Burnout. One after another, he arrested men like Soto, and the courts would set him free. One day, he had enough. He quit. And he went to work for Esther. Why? I suppose he needed a job. Yeah? Have you heard from Kat? No, she was supposed to be with you. Kat's gone. How long? 10 or 15 minutes. I went up to take a shower, and when I came back, she wasn't here. Did she say anything? No. I mean, we were talking, and she was pretty mad. I mean, you know how Kat gets. Never mind that. Did she say anything or where she could be going? She was mostly talking about Guzman and how what she really wanted to do was knock on his door. Did you take both copies of Guzman's file? No. Why? They're both gone. What do you want me to do? Nothing. Just stay where you are. What? Promise me. I promise. Good. Kat took one of Guzman's file. Is there a problem? Not if you have a car. Let's go. yourself. Visiting a friend? Something like that. Senor Guzman? Senor who? Be careful. There's a loaded gun in there. Senor who indeed? And where will I find a permit that gives you the right to shoot at these men? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Do as I tell you. Now what? We take a drive into the country? You get one of your flunkies to dig a shallow grave and then put a bullet in my head? Or do you call Guzman? Handcuff her. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not, but I will shoot you if I have. Now, I don't want to, but I will shoot. I see. And when was this? Moments ago. Why are you on the speakerphone? I'm working. My hands are busy. What about the other one? Not yet. We're looking for her. Apparently, they have a photograph. Of Guzman. Yes, I know. You haven't found him yet? We will. And the girl? Where will you be keeping her? Not at the jail, I hope. No, of course not. I want to put her someplace safe. You could bring her here. I have Benitez with me. He could protect her. Yes, I could, but I've got a better place. Do you remember old friend Lupe Patil? La Concha? Of course, you're taking her to Lupe's. That's an excellent idea. Will you stay with her? No, my men are with me. Don't keep an eye on her. Let me know if you hear from Guzman. Of course. Chavez and Lopez are with him. And that's the good news. The photograph is another matter. What difference does it make? We have the girl. We have one of them. 
But now, now there's someone else who can identify you. The other girl saw nothing. You're wrong, my friend. She saw you with Cruz and Lopez. Perhaps, perhaps it's time to put Matador to rest. For you to take a vacation. I've been thinking the same thing myself. I never see you until you need something, huh? Well, it's good to see you too, Lupe. Come in. Come in. Not too far, about uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Thank you. Maldonado and two of his men picked her up 20 minutes ago before she went into the building. There was a fight. Was she hurt? Uh, pride, I imagine. She lost. What about Guzman? He's not home. Maldonado must have been staked out. That could be a good sign. Maybe. I don't understand. If Maldonado was watching the building, he wasn't looking for Kat. He couldn't know. He was looking for Guzman. Which means the chief is on our side. You should have been a policeman. I was. In a way. Where to next? I wish I knew. Hola. Uh -huh. That was Maldonado. Astor and another policeman are dead. What about Kat? She's at Lupe Portillo's beach house. Two of her men are with her. Guzman? Nothing yet. House, 12 rooms, a living room, music room, playroom, sewing room, laundry. Sounds like a lot of work. It's true. Well, get Pablo to turn me free and I'll give you a hand. You do windows? You bet. Break them or wash them. It's okay. Marie is coming tomorrow. Besides, we promised Chico. That is Senor Maldonado. We'd keep an eye on you. Chico? You pig. Take her out. And put her somewhere. Son of a mule. I'll scratch your eyes out. I'll rip your ears away from your head. I'll eat your heart. She's a fiery woman. You have something in common. You're a sick man. You're too quick to judge. So why'd you kill Martinez? He, uh, interfered. With what? With justice. With Matador. Oh, don't make me laugh. I don't want to make you laugh. I want to make you understand. Martinez was a good man, but he had a narrow view. I didn't want to kill him. Believe me, I take no pleasure in killing him. Not even men like Soto. But when the law is weak, when it's corrupt, when decent citizens are no longer safe. You're starting to ramble. Forget the decent citizens. What about Martinez? You figured out what you and your pals were up to? You're like the rest. You can't face the unpleasant truth. You can't accept responsibility for the world you live in. Your garden is choked with weeds, and you pretend that they are flowers. You water them with civil rights. You feed them with excuses for who you are. Well, there you go again. What about Martinez? Did you see his face when you pulled the trigger? Of course not. 
I saw the back of his head, as I will see the back of yours. Sean, I told you to step out. My fingers must have been crossed. Hey, do you have any cash? I'm a little short, and I owe the driver. What the hell's going on? Her fingers were crossed. Come on, Tommy. I... She's my partner, too. Lieutenant Valdez, me Joanna. Lieutenant? Got an extra one of those for me? Nope. Tommy? Don't worry, I won't shoot you. Thank you. Go to the car, use the radio, and find out where he is. He's a son of a mule. You know why? His father had no interest in women. Forget it, Lupe. You can't insult him. <laughs> you can't insult a weak man. You're right. <laughs> He's slim. He takes <laughs> after his father. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Look at your friend. He has no bones. That's enough. <laughs> hey, maybe it's your diet. You should try bananas. I heard they work for some men. <laughs> I said enough. <laughs> OK, maybe I'm wrong. Turn me loose, and then we'll know. Oh. <laughs> You'd like that. Probably not. But it's the only way to know for sure. Well, come on. Oh, you poor thing. I'll show you what to do. Don't worry, Lupe. He won't shoot us here, will you? <laughs> I didn't think so. Oh, 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 hold it. Uh-oh. What? He's one of them. Uh, who? One of the cops that was chasing Cat and me. Uh oh. How many are we looking at? Could be three. No more than four. You want to take the back? I'll go in with you. Okay. Nicole, take Joanna with you. Get a few minutes to get in position, all right? I have a better idea. You're good, Valdez. Thank you. Now drop your weapons. Oh, what? You'll kill her, and we'll kill you? Or your friend inside dies. It could happen. Now what? Now we all go in together. That's far enough. Raul! Bring them. Nice to see you again, Lupe. What happened to you? Did you forget to duck? Shut up. Where's your car? It's out on the street. Bring it. He's another mule. Yeah, sure looks like him. <laughs> what is she talking about? You! Go ahead. I'm not afraid of you. You will be. Where's Benitez? Keeping an eye on Maldonado. Drop your weapons now, we'll shoot! Nobody move! Nobody move! You're a fool, Valdez! He'll kill you the same way he did Astor and Benitez! What's he talking about? 
Nothing. Keep moving. They're all dead, Valdez. Who else killed them? This is true. Tell me now. Matador? For too long, I'm afraid. But until I had proof, until I knew for sure who was at the top, there was nothing I could do. Cat, are you a debt and an apology? You were to bait for my trial. You don't owe me anything. If you're anybody, it's Lupe's husband and Martinez. Yes, of course. They were good men. All of them were in the beginning. Including Guzman? Oh, yes. Guzman was the best. They all were ones. So who was at the top? Astor? Yes, he recruited them. He played to their anger and to their frustration, and he provided them with information. And in the case of Manuel Soto, he provided them with their target. That's why you weren't permitted to testify. He had Soto released so that he would be killed. Well, there's nothing written, but yes. Your farmer career was his poor excuse. <laughs> to all of my brave new friends and my brave old ones. Mm. To uh, Chico. Oh, to Chico. Chico. <laughs>